So this was the epitome of a squash match. It, I guess it lasted a little bit longer than the squash match. Um, but after, of course, Santos goes after him and is just like jumping him, whatever. And this is when things get amazing. And uh, Dragon Lee is being inserted into this LWO program. And I am here for it, especially because Rey Mysterio is out now. So they had to do something to like continue this because they basically started it and then it could have come to an abrupt end because Ray got hurt and now we know he's going to be gone for God knows how many months. Um, so I love that Dragon Lee is being elevated into his spot and um, I love that people are finally paying attention to what Dragon Lee is doing to the point of them chanting Dragon Lee. It's awesome. Because... We have seen, you know, his matches in recent weeks that have started and, uh, you know, kind of stayed kind of quiet for the mm -hmm. most part, even though he's a phenomenal performer. So I'm glad that they're like going full force with him and that people are finally like, oh, yeah, no, this dude is legit. He's really entertaining in the ring. And did you see that video? You did. I sent it to you. The video of him at, uh, at the live show and oh, he switched so masks adorable. with a child. That was I'm sorry. So adorable. That ch that kid, that is going to be like the one of the best moments of his life because like they luchadors do not just do that with anybody. You know what I mean? Like you don't just switch swap masks with anybody. No. Like it's a sign of respect as we know. But like it's a huge deal in their culture so it's like the fact that he did that with a He's child who is so wearing awesome. a Rey Mysterio mask incredible I'm like see push this guy to the moon dude That's like you moon. want you've been looking for years and years and years for your new Rey Mysterio you finally you finally found your there new Rey Mysterio like and I don't mean a replacement but you know what I mean like the next Rey Mysterio no 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 the next baby face lucha underdog all that yes what's crazy yeah. to me is how he was someone that WWE outbid AEW for. Thank God, though. Like, Thank and, and, God. And, and usually I would be like, oh, I don't know. what." It, no. He would have got lost in the shuffle and he'd be yep. on Rampage and Collision yep. in AEW. Now mm -hmm. in WWE, he has the opportunity to be a main player on SmackDown. Like, that is a huge deal. And I think that is something that would have only happened under Triple H. You know, thousand percent. Because, um, you know, we we can give credit to Vince for everything that he did for Rey Mysterio's career, obviously, and it started in WCW. So it's not like we can say he's a yeah he originally born and it. bred WWE guy. Mm -hmm. Um, but we've seen time and time and time again through the years any time that they brought in anyone that was even remotely similar to ray they never did anything vince never wanted to do anything with them and it feels like we know that he you know didn't appreciate the smaller wrestlers and so that i'm sure played a, an impact um on his decision making there but i think that yeah the the dragon lee to wwe thing was the perfect timing because i think if this perfect happened timing. five years ago it would have been we wouldn't be talking about him right now you know? oh, no, he would have got lost to travel for sure and he's so incredible oh my god i told like i texted you the video i'm so obsessed with him i'm obsessed i'm obsessed he's, he's just crazy. a long the list of my obsessions 